Well, hello there, whiskey folk, and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Seems like I've been away forever, guys, but I'd like to wish everyone a very prosperous and a very happy 2019. I've been away for a couple of weeks. Uh, as I say, I've been trying some really nice whiskies, all in the aid of research just for you guys. I know someone has to. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing something very, very special and it is the Glen Goyne 21. Uh, I have done a video, this, this whiskey actually made my top 5 whiskies of 2018. There is a video kicking around, if you want to go and check it out guys, please feel free. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about Glen Goyne, I'm going to nose it, taste it, tell you a little bit about the finish. So without any further ado guys, uh, I'm just going to crack on. Glen Goyne uh, Distillery is just on the outskirts of Glasgow. Uh, super picturesque little distillery. It's quite unique uh, as it produces a Highland single malt and it matures its whiskey in the lowlands. So the reason for that guys is that Glen Goyne is right on the Highland line. So the stills are in the Highlands and the warehouses are in the Lowlands. Uh, quite unique. Uh, there is a few other things about this which I'll come on to a bit later on. As you can see, I've been spending the last couple of weeks with this whiskey. Um, I class this as a special, special whiskey. Uh, it's natural colour. Anyone wants to see what natural colour looks like? That's the one there. It's got that red hue. Um, it's matured in first fill Oloroso casks. Um, 21 years. On the bottle, guys, it says it's unhurried since 1833, which is, I'll come back to the reason why that's, that's important. And it also states it's natural colour from thyme and sherry casks alone. So it's got everything. It's 43% ABV. I think that 43% ABV is perfect. Uh, I know some of us would like 46, 48 and cask strengths and stuff like this. But I think for this whiskey, they've got Glen has got it bang on uh, with 43%. So uh, Glen Goyne, it has three stills. Uh, one wash still and two spirit stills. Uh, it doesn't do any peated whiskies. Uh, all the barley is unpeated, which is great. Um, it has quite an extensive range. It has a 10, a 12, a 15, an 18, 21, 25. There is some other bottles, but that's its kind of core range. Um, so, without any further ado guys, I'm going to just crack on with the nose of this Glen Goyne 21. Wow. I remember guys, when I first bought the first bottle of this. This is the third bottle. When I bought the first bottle, the first thing that hit me was the nose. I thought, what a spectacular nose is. It really got me excited for the palate. I actually spent about five, ten minutes nosing it before I actually tasted it. But when I actually came to take my first sip, I was really, really, really disappointed. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit why I was disappointed. I'd been built up, I'd watched videos on it, and people were raving about it, everybody I spoke to was raving about it. And whether that got me super excited, I felt a little bit disappointed. Uh, and this is where I'll come back to the unhurried. Apparently it takes six years for Glen Goyne to get the casks ready to put this whiskey in. So to do 21, so it's taken almost 30 years to get it ready. And I was down in it like a cowboy. Um, and I wasn't getting anything from it. Uh, it seemed quite bland. Okay, the sherry was there, but I couldn't get really anything else but sherry. Then I watched another video on YouTube and one of the top tips was take your time with it. 
So I did that, I left it in the glass. This has been sitting in the glass now for about 20, 25 minutes, which guys, it needs this. Uh, I've watched some other videos since then and some people are not quite getting it. Um, but for me, the 20 minutes, 25 minutes, it needs it because if you give it the time, it will give you so much back, um, which is superb. Um, so on the nose, it's sher all sherry. Uh, and then you get those kind of, that fruitcake note, raisins, dates, figs. Wow. Got a red note, red cherries maybe, strawberries, raspberries, that kind of thing. A little bit of spice. Touch of cinnamon. Honey. And toffee. But and that, that's that note I've got now, but if I leave it for another five minutes, I'd get some more. But I know when I say that I'm not gonna hurry things, but I, I don't want to make the video last an hour long. Um, If you would like me to make the video last an hour long, just pop it in the comments below, guys. Yeah, toffee. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, see the colours? Spectacular. Let me have a sip. I know I keep saying it, but wow. Fruitcake, Oloroso, Sherry. This is a Sherry bomb, guys. It's quite drying. It's rich. Sherry's very, very clean. Got a little bit of banana and pineapple. It's quite jammy, guys. Like a pineapple jam, honey, syrupy. Super. Let me try some more. This is why I poured a big dram, because I knew I was going to sip and sip and sip. Got a touch of a rum note. And what I'm thinking, you know when you have a, that fruit cake and you pour rum over it, flambe it, getting that kind of rum note. Some brown sugar. Going quite sweet now. Wow. That toffee's getting quite strong now. The spice, the spice is coming in. It's quite spinny. I actually think there's a touch of ginger now. So we've got cinnamon and ginger. Super. Sorry guys, I have a lot of silent notes because I'm just enjoying this too much. Uh, let's have one last sip. And then I'll maybe have another sip to do the finish. It's getting better, guys. It's just getting more. Everything's just enhanced. And as I say, I tried this with a touch of water. And it, for me, it doesn't really do anything for the palate, but for the nose, it makes everything fruitier and it just accentuates everything. See, so it's got that, it's very, very mouth coating. It's mouth watering. For me, this is absolutely everything. And to be fair, 
if you were a peat head, I think you would enjoy this. Obviously for different reasons, but the the flavour is it's intensely flavoured. Um, and I think that's coming from fantastic casks. Great, it's hundred. It's uh, first fill over also, and the, I think the maturation with the great casks. I think the master blender has done a f absolutely fantastic job on this. I'd say this is a masterclass in whiskey. Um, price wise on it, it's about a hundred and ten pounds. So for a twenty one year old. This is outstanding value, and I'll tell you the reason why. On the back of paying £110 for this, and I say I've done it three times now, um, it made me go out and buy the 25 year old, which is sitting here. I've actually bought two bottles of the 25 year old, and this is my second bottle. Um, value for money, the 21. Um, at 110 is super and for that value I, I would continue to keep paying that for this whiskey the, the 25 is 260 but again with that one I think once you crack it open and you realize just how nice it is um, and you compare that with the relative 25 year old Bowmores and McAllen's and all that kind of stuff then that becomes super value as well. So for Glen Goyne, for me, the value in the whiskey is absolutely superb. Um, and that's that's what made me go and buy the 260 quid. And I would do that again, guys, as well. So when this one goes, if it's still 260, I'll go and buy another one. Um, so for value, brilliant. Um, and I think for anybody, guys, I know 110 pound, is a lot of money for a bottle of whiskey, right? But that is worth 110 pounds. That to me is worth 150 pounds. Um, Glen Goyne, keep it at 110, please. Don't take my word to make it 150. Um, so let me do a little bit of finish, guys. comes it's really syrupy on the finish it's there's a little bit of fudge there which has came in at the end the spice is quite prominent at the end the cinnamon and gingers ginger comes in and out very quickly but the cinnamon kind of lingers around it's a medium it's if you drink it early in the glass it's quite a medium finish if you give it time in the glass, then the longer you can leave it, I think you get a longer finish on it. So it's all about time with this whiskey. You need to give it the time. And if you do that, you'll be rewarded and... Well, you'll get whatever, everything you ever wanted you get from a whiskey, you'll get from this one. It's quite subtle. It's quite understated. Uh, it's intensely flavoured, but it's, it's lovely. Um, it's clean. And it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm conscious now, guys, I'm, I'm now hitting my longest video. I actually thought this was going to be my longest, um, just purely because and I didn't want to rush it. Uh, I actually feel I've, I could have spent another five minutes, um, but I know you guys are busy and you don't want to spend 20 minutes on a video. Um, so without any further ado guys, I would highly recommend this with anybody who's got £110 to spend, buy this whiskey. Um, if you don't like it, email me, text me, comment me, I'll buy it from you. Uh, I'm that confident you'll love it. And So, that's me, I'm Alan. If you've enjoyed it guys, please click the bell subscribe 
I love the comments that I'm getting. I could do with some more comments, guys. Just talk to me. Let me know if you've had it before, if you've tried it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Please let me know. Um, so I'm going to call it a day. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon. And again, have a fantastic 2019, guys. Thank you very much.